Hi everyone, Renee here. I'm going to do a reading that's basically going to tell you what you need to know right now whenever you find this video. So this reading is going to be timeless. It's good whenever you watch it. It's a pick a card reading. So you're going to choose one of these three cards and that accompanying reading is going to be for you. So for this reading, I'm using oracle cards and tarot cards as well as my own intuition. I'm going to incorporate my oracle card deck and I'm going to incorporate a spread that I came up with called Inside Outside Upside Down and it's going to be part of your reading. So which card do you feel drawn to at this time? Is it card number one, card number two, or card number three? Once you've made your choice, you can look below at the timestamps and fast forward to your reading. As always, thanks for watching. Please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate it. Hello, group one. If you chose the first card, this is your reading. So let's see what your first card is. You got a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So there is your first message. We're gonna jump right into the tarot and do the quick three card inside, outside, upside down spread. And we'll go from there. Whoops, that flipped out. We're gonna use that. So this card is going to be inside. What's happening on the inside with your emotions, your mental state, maybe your intuition or spirituality. You got the high priestess, I love it. So you are probably trusting your instincts or realizing that you do have intuitive abilities and you use them and hopefully trust them. Now outside, this is what's happening on the outside, how you choose to appear to others. Could be your environment. So we have three of coins on the outside. This is all about working with others, being taught or trained, or teaching or training others. So upside down, this is what you need to work on. This is the little warning or heads up, or maybe it's already happening, but it's definitely something that needs to be addressed. And for you, we have the nine of coins. So this is all about stability and comfort within the home and with your family. Um, and money and feeling stable and feeling productive and feeling blessed. So maybe you've had a hard time lately feeling productive, feeling blessed, seeing the things in your life that you should be grateful for. Okay, that's kind of what I'm getting out of, the, out of this last card here. So now we're going to draw from a different deck and just do a general read with the tarot and I'll tell you what else I get, group one. All right, we have the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Coins, Death, and we have the Two of Wands. Okay, so for you, there's something that you are restricting. You are restricting yourself from doing or feeling something. Yeah, you are not allowing yourself to feel the abundance that is around you. And you are underappreciated or underappreciating your love interest or your partner is what's happening here. King of Cups, you can see the signs here. There's Cancer, there's Scorpio, possibly even Pisces. Um, water sign, sun or moon sign. So that's kind of what's happening here. So that's the upside down. That's a part of that. We have the seven. See, yeah. And the five. So you are really just not noticing the blessings lately. I feel like your, your main worry lately has probably been around about money, around the subject of your career or work or money. Maybe you lost your job. Maybe that's what this death card is. I'm going to draw on that. But you need to know that everything will be okay. You're doing the work and you will reap the rewards. All right? 
maybe you got a little bit behind because you lost a job or you were laid off. Who knows? Because of COVID, it has affected our economy in so many ways, or your business had to close, etc. So that is your main worry. What you are being asked to do is to realize what you do have. Don't focus on what's lacking. Focus on what you have in your life. And obviously to me, you have a wonderful support system here. Whether this is a soulmate, a romantic partner, or a soul sister, soul brother, or your best friend who you love unconditionally, this is someone who is not going to leave your side. They're not going to leave your side. They're not leaving you. Um, and you need to appreciate that, okay? Okay, death, king of swords on top of that. And then we have the six of cups. So this is kind of pointing to a nostalgic feeling. Possibly someone has passed away and it's just kind of re resulted in you becoming depressed. So you are still grieving. It's just been really tough lately. It's just been really tough. Some of you, this could be a job that, that's ended, that you loved, and you're mourning that, right? You're grieving that. You're grieving something that has ended. And we have the Two of Wands. And the three, I'm gonna do one more. And justice, I love it. Okay, so your career, your creative abilities, everything should be right on track very, very shortly. Keep the faith. But what you need to do is you need to balance your work life. It's a work life balance thing for you. Don't fixate so much on the money or the career because it's going to cause maybe problems in your relationships, right? Try to always see what's good in your life rather than what's lacking. And for some of you, this is literally a new romantic partner coming in, this King of Cups here. And we have the Ace of Cups, which for me usually means a soulmate. So keep that in mind too, and you have to be open for that. Um, you have to have the positive, loving energy, the positive vibe to prepare for this type of love, okay? You don't want to meet each other on a low level where you're both needy. You want to meet where you're both happy, joyful, loving, playful, and open for love. So we have the Satyr, Revelry and Indulgence, coming up as a little bit of a warning here. So if you, you know, have a tendency to, as we all do, overeat, drink too much, whatever it might be, kind of keep that at bay. We can tend to do that even more when we're lonely or worried or stressed out or anxious. Let's see what color, guard, color goddess casting card we get. So we have Ruby, Fearlessness, Strength Warrior. This is also the sign of Capricorn. So it's kind of tapping into that earth, strong energy of that root chakra, feeling secure, which is what this card is all about. It's comfort, security in the home, happy, a happy home, a happy life, stability, security. You need to Find the inner warrior and move forward fearlessly, knowing that everything will work out no matter what your situation is right now. Because I know you're making efforts to improve your life, to improve your finances. You'll be turning a corner in the nearer future with all of this. And then you will reach that point. You will really feel the balance in all areas of your life. But you have to take action and you have to believe in that, right? You have to have faith in that. Let's see what else we can get for you with the Gypsy Oracle cards. We have Young Woman, Lord, 
journey. Okay, I love that. So that is kind of telling us the journey of two people of a romance, of something that's going to be either rekindled or started up here in the near future. So again, inside is your intuition. You need to trust that and stop worrying about money so much. Trust your instincts because you are very intuitive. Outside's three of coins, um, working with others, learning, teaching or training. That's kind of in your environment right now. Maybe you're training for this new job. You just started and the money isn't quite there yet and that's why you're anxious about the money all the cards point to success. It's a slow but steady success and you need to have faith. You need to have a good work-life balance. Know that there is a soulmate here. There is somebody very special in your life or coming into your life and you need to be open for that and recognize that for what it is and be grateful for that when it does enter into your life. And move forward fearlessly with the strength and the warrior within you. All right, group one, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye. Hello, group two, if you chose the second card, this is your reading. Let's see what your first card is. And you got new moon and Aries, it's time to take action. New moon and Aries, time to take action. We're gonna jump right into the tarot <clears throat> and my inside, outside, upside down reading or spread. It's three cards, but you could honestly just make three columns and keep going down the columns for this reading. But I'm just gonna do the three cards for today. So inside is all about emotions, intuition, your emotional state, your mental state, maybe things you hide from others. So what's going on inside? Eight of coins, okay. So it's all about productivity and work. And this is kind of pointing to having a very busy mind, very busy mind, which could result in anxiety. Outside is your environment or what you choose to show to the world. And this is six of cups. This is all about sentimentality, nostalgia, memories it's it can be kind of about compassion and being compassionate so it seems like maybe there's things going on around you which are helping you to remember the past or causing you to feel nostalgic about the past so the upside down is what you need to work on or address right now and we have queen of cups so if this is an issue the upside down would be if the card were upside down, then this means someone who's emotionally imbalanced, who is possibly anxious or depressed, all right? So maybe that's what's going on with you right now, and I'm sorry if that is the truth. But we'll see what else we get for you with a different deck. So there's the inside, outside, upside down. Now we're gonna get some general messages with a different tarot deck. So we have first, whoops, five of coins. I don't do reverses. We have death. We have knight of wands. We have wheel of fortune. And we have the four of cups. Okay. Taking a look at these. Okay. That five of coins definitely can be worry about money. Um, wow, okay, what is happening here? There is a split. Some of you, maybe you're newly divorced or broken up and there was a literally a breakup or a split here. Heartache, the end of the matter. There is a new beginning, but money is probably a worry for you right now. Similar to the first reading, so if you want to take a look at that first reading, go ahead. But that's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, also, worry about health. Could be worry about health. Maybe you broke up or got divorced and your partner's work or career 
had the health insurance. So now you're extra worried about health because you don't know how you're going to afford it. You have to find some health care. Um, but it does look like a, a detachment. I'm just getting the word detachment from these two. Like detached, broken, broken up, and then there's worry about health and money. And death kind of validates that ending as well. I'll draw one on top of that. Yeah, five of cups, there's the sorrow. Sorrow, death, the end. It could be literally a death of a person that's caused you a lot of pain, um, physically, emotionally, and, and spiritually, you know? Um, you're grieving. Knight of Wands. All right, Justice on top of that, and the Ace of Cups, okay. Okay, and the King. So what we have here is, is the promise of someone new coming in at some point, all right? Ace of Cups for me can be the, a soulmate card, a love card. Now the person coming in, they're coming in very bravely. They probably are a sociable person. You might meet them through friends or through your work or a creative project. Um, they could have Libra in their chart. They could have air prevalent in their chart, or more likely, they're probably very intelligent. When these two are together, usually for me, it means someone who works in the judicial system or the law enforcement area, all right? So they could be um, a solicitor, a judge, a police officer, etc. something like that. So if you don't know who, the, who this person is, then they are probably going to be coming in at some point in the future. And that's what your guides want you to know, is to know that you will find love again. It is not the end of the end of the end. It is not the end of all things. Your life will go on. Very fortunately is what we're getting with the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Nine of Coins, yeah. That is all about the home front being comfortable and serene in the home and the ten, ten of cups as well. Nine of coins, ten of cups. So know that you will have a happy family, happy home. That is part of your path, okay? Despite what you've been through, the breakup, the death, whatever it might be, that is part of your path. We have the four of cups, so let's draw on that one. Let's see what we can get. Okay, the Hermit and the Star. Okay. So the four can be all about boredom. Well, it's time to learn something new. It's time to go for the gusto, whatever this might be. Going back to school, learning something new, um, doing a total 180 and taking down, taking on a new career path taking a risk, taking a chance. What are you aspiring to? Sometimes this can mean fame if you want to get into music or theater or the arts. Um, it might not mean fame on a global sense, but maybe in your area of the world you become well known for something. But you have to put the passion into it because you are bored, whatever you're doing now. So most of you probably know what this is, but some of you, you might have to do a little digging. You might have to do a deep dive and figure out what that is. But it involves higher learning or learning more about a subject and going for something that you aspire to. This is wishes coming true. If the work's put in, the wish will come true. So let's see what else I can tell you, group two. All right. So for you, we have the serpent. A sly and subtle approach is needed. Interesting. Um, that might have to do with the plan here, the creative change, whatever this is, could be a career change. Sly and subtle approach, but it's time to take action. We can't forget this first card. So this is what you need to take action on but you might want to be sly and subtle. 
Maybe don't let everybody know what you're planning to do until it's kind of all set up and set in stone. You know, you don't want to quit your day job until you've got that other assured income. Let's see which Color Goddess casting card you get, group two. So for you, wonderful, Sapphire, knowledge, learning, organization. This is also the sign of Taurus. And this is very much like the Hermit card. It's learning something new. It's knowledge, using this knowledge or learning something new. So that's definitely part of your path. Whatever it might be, let's draw a few of my Gypsy Oracle cards for you, Group 2. What else can I tell you? I mean, I will say that since your Upside Down card is the Queen of Cups, you might be a water sign, sun or moon sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And there is healing here. Snake or serpent is also a symbol of healing. And we do have the Ace of Cups here, which does show that you will be emotionally healing from this grief, whether it's a literal death or the end of a relationship. It will just take some time, all right? We have for you, doctor. So some of you, if you are severely depressed or anxious, you might want to see a medical professional. We have hope, yes. Hold on to your hope. Not all is lost. Because some of you are very much stuck in a, in a place of despair and grief and sadness and letter. So there's some kind of exciting news coming your way, group two. Whether you've applied for a training program or a school, <clears throat> Because I do feel like it's good news. It's definitely good news. There's a lot to look forward to, even though you are suffering right now from this detachment, this split, whatever it is. It is time to take action. I feel like the immediate action might be to talk to a medical professional, maybe see a therapist, something like that. I think everyone should see therapists, to be honest with you, because it always helps to talk out your problems. Um, Keep the hope, know that love is in your future. You will be reaching a point of, of joy, happiness, security, bliss, and partnership that is in the cards for you, that is in store for you for the future. So I wish you all the best, Group 2, and I hope this helps you in some small way. Thanks for watching. Hello, group three. What do you need to know? Let's see what your first card is. You have new moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. Interesting, because all three groups had a new moon. That is just really bizarre. Confidence is your key to success. You have the new moon in Leo, group three. So we're gonna start off with the inside, outside, upside down reading which is three cards, but you can always do three columns and do as many cards as you want. But for this video reading, I'm just gonna do three with this deck and then we're gonna move on to another deck. So inside is what's going on with your emotions, your mental state, what are you maybe hiding from the world? Four of Cups, boredom, essentially. It's boredom, dissatisfaction disappointment. Now outside, what you show to the world or your environment. We have the Knave of Swords. So this is the Page of Swords. Um, you're clearly communicating or that's what you're showing the world. Maybe you are a good conversationalist. You like to chat, you like to talk and text, but yet you're not sharing this with everyone, right? And upside down is kind of like if you were to turn the tarot card into reversal. That's what it would mean. What do you need to work on? And we have the Knight of Coins. So you definitely need to work on being methodical and patient and slow and steady. Maybe you tend to be a little bit fast in action and with your choices. 
Maybe you don't consider things long enough. Could be a little bit too spontaneous in some areas. So you need to work on being patient and persistent and methodical. So let's see what else I can tell you with a different tarot deck. Oops, let me pick that up just a second. Okay. So we have the Four of Cups, the Hermit, the Hierophant, Strength, and the Tower for you, Group 3. All right. So it looks like, yeah. You got the Four of Swords, or the Four of Cups twice, Group 3. You are disappointed. You are dissatisfied, bored, or disappointed. Let's draw on this and see exactly what it is. Although I think it might be boredom more than anything because of that Hermit card. So let's see. Definitely, yes. Definitely you're bored. You want to do more, you can't. Maybe because of COVID, maybe because of your work schedule, but you are bored with the monotonies of your day to day. You're comfortable, you make enough money, your home is comfortable, you like where you live, but you are just bored. The Hermit's kind of pointing to learning something new and look at this, the Seven of Wands. I love how both of them show the person reading a book. Maybe you need to read a good book for fun or maybe you need to learn something new. And she's reading a book about don't panic. Like, don't freak out, don't get anxious. Self-help books might be good for you. The Hierophant's all about um, finding and trusting your tribe. Let me grab that other card that fell. Okay. We have the Three of Swords because you were hurt in the past. But the Ten of Cups, okay. So there are people still in your life who remain in your life who will not let you down. They won't let you down. You've been hurt before. Someone disappointed you. So there is a little bit of disappointment here. Whether it was a romantic interest or a friend, for most of you I feel it was a friend or a family member, but you do have other people around you who love you unconditionally and care about you. If you have not found your tribe, your soul tribe, your soul sisters or brothers, you will find them soon and they will not let you down, okay? There's the Ten of Cups, which is joy, bliss, and happiness. We also have strength coming up for you, courage, fortitude. Ooh, strength over bad habits, which could have to do with being critical of yourself and others. That's something that you are going to work to overcome. A critical nature, a negative, pessimistic outlook, or judging yourself or others too harshly. The tower brings a change. What's happening with that? Ace of Cups and the Lovers. So you are definitely coming into a very positive, healthy, romantic relationship. The tower is a destructive card, but we can't build until the old is destroyed and moved and leveled. This is the old being destroyed, and this is the new. It is a romantic interest coming in, okay? It's a soulmate. Someone who sees eye to eye with you, someone who you really do connect with, on a soul level. Also, there is, there could be a change with your work, but you have to manifest that, all right? You have to, if you don't like your job, if you're bored with it, then you have to look for another job or apply for a promotion because you are extremely dissatisfied and bored and, and not challenged by what you're doing right now. I 
think you're probably overqualified for your position. Let's see what we get with the Oracle cards. So we do have Medusa. Jealousy leads to a downfall. So maybe that's what this has to do with, with the lovers and the judgment and the devil. You will keep this relationship. It will be very healthy unless you become jealous because of past disappointments, all right? So that's a little bit of a warning for you, group three. Try not to become envious or jealous of others. Let's see what color goddess casting card you get. So for you, we have Sepia, Nostalgia, Reminiscence, and Reverie. It's also the sign of Gemini. Seeing you, did you get the six of cups? No. But this card is all about memories, nostalgia. It could mean going into your family history or ancestry, developing a family tree. Um, it might be someone is coming back into your life who used to be in your life and that makes you happy. It's a happy card. It's not necessarily a sad card. Someone involved could be a Gemini, sun or moon sign, or that could be you, possibly. Let's draw a few of the Gypsy fortune cards. Let's see what else I can tell you, group three. So for you, we have service. We have haughtiness. Kind of a warning interesting and we have reunion there we go so reunion goes right along with the sepia card there's someone coming in from your past the haughtiness goes right along with all of this the devil part of it um, the judgment the fear the jealousy right um, being a little bit yeah cocky or a know-it-all Maybe that's something that someone close to you needs to get over or maybe change about the personality. And some of you, maybe it's part of you that you need to change. All right, there's haughtiness and then reunion. Yeah, service is kind of pointing to maybe if you are in service to others, that would make your soul a little bit happier. Um, maybe something that you're doing right now as far as work goes is unsatisfactory because you're not in service and that's part of your soul plan some of us are here to serve take care of and nurture others um, or maybe you want to volunteer for something um, where you're helping other people but yeah definitely you need to make a change and confidence is your key but not haughtiness, not cockiness, and don't let jealousy be your downfall. And I feel like goals will be yours. You will be reaching many goals. If you are patient, persistent, and confident, like the Knight of Coins, you have to be patient and persistent and notice the small victories along the way as you make your way to the big goal. Notice those small victories, all right? It's not all going to happen super, super fast, but it will happen. Just have confidence and be patient, all right, group three? What else do I need to tell you? Yeah, the new person coming in looks like love is coming in, but don't destroy it. Don't let jealousy destroy it. Don't let your baggage, your past experiences, cause you to be fearful or jealous, all right? There you go, group three. I hope this helps you in some small way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.